Welcome to the world of keyframes in CapCut. In this video, we are going to learn all about the keyframes. How can you captivate your videos with the help of keyframes? If you want to bring this picture to this side, this shape to this side, or you want to animate text, animate videos, or you want to have keyframes on your effects. If you apply any effect and you want to have keyframes and you want to increase or decrease the intensity of an effect, I got you covered in this video. So don't skip the video because it has a lot more about the keyframes. First thing first, at this place I'm talking about the filters. So stay on the clip, go to filters and apply any filter you like. For example, I'm applying this one, drag it to the end of your timeline or the duration you want. And here you will see an option of keyframe appeared, right? So here the strength of the keyframe is 100% and the reasonable change you can see on my face at this place i just move some frames and here another keyframe i will add like this and reduce the intensity up to 71 percent and here if i want 43 percent then i can reduce and if i just reduce a little bit the keyframe will automatically add it whenever you decrease the strength and here i want it up to this place and at this place i want it to disappear so if I play my video like this, keyframes on your effects. you can see you clearly effects, that the strength increased, then slowly decreased, and the video the came back to the original effect. colors. Well, subscribing this channel is free of cost. You just need one click to subscribe. So do it. All right, here I'm talking about a picture. And if I want to animate this picture, right, you can see my finger moving and talking about a picture. Drag this one to timeline and give the first keyframe here. Remember to scale this one. And here my finger moves and I bring this picture here and rescale maybe. Keep watching my finger goes to that place again like this, then moves here and I can bring another one. And you can see that the keyframes have been added here. And now at this place, I want to bring it here and at this place my hand goes to that place right here quite easy with the help of keyframe now if I play my video here I want to bring this picture to if you still got any question you can write in the comment section the next one I'm talking about the text you can also do tracking for the text but less keyframe text right any text here here my text start by the way if you don't know about the fonts i have a complete separate video not only one but so many videos about the fonts you can import any fonts you like here you just stay on the text and give the first keyframe about the colors as well and this is very nice tool coming in the next section that i'm talking about the colors how you can change the colors of this one just go to the keyframe here now keep moving according to the position of your finger here i want to bring this text here and at this place i want to bring it here and then my finger moves and goes to that place and i can bring it here that's it and here if i want to rescale this one at this place if i want to zoom back it's not just about the finger that is moving it's about the animation of text wherever you want so here i want to zoom a little bit and then you can go to animation sector and here you can flip in and out or whatsoever you like and if i I play the text now this shape to this side Are you right so this is how you can animate the text as okay. well if you scroll down to my youtube channel i have replied all the comments so your comments are welcome write in the comments and like this video as you always do now let's talk about keyframing the shapes let's say you have a picture a png you can have any picture you place it here and if you want this one to appear suddenly from the background or somewhere you just give one keyframe at this place and now move little frames like this one here and move it here and then move it up to this place and in the meantime you know you can do a lot of other stuff as well now if i play this one is cool and I was talking about the color of this text. Here is very awesome tool. Here, staying on any keyframe, I can just go to color section. And here, after adding a color, I can choose another color at this place. At this place, you can see the color is black. But I wanted this keyframe color maybe red. Bring this one to red. 
now you see black red and blue so this is how you can change the color with the help of keyframes as well this is a very nice tool about changing the colors if you have auto captions you can design only one caption and then whole captions will be designed like this one i'm pretty sure after watching this video your videos are gonna go to the next level and now let's quickly talk about you know video this is my video for example and here i want to add some effects on this video as well like i want to zoom in zoom out and this kind of effects i want to add with the help of keyframe so by staying on this one i just add one keyframe here rescale and add few frames adjust it like zoom and then maybe more and at this place maybe i want to rotate a little bit can reposition and rotate this one like that i can rotate it up to 60 degree right so at this place maybe i want it to 90 degree at this place i want it back to zero degree the zoom at this place will be maybe like this if i play this video now for today and i'll see you next boom time. there you go this is how you can easily keyframe anything for the video there is also an awesome feature stay on the video and any keyframe you added here just go to speed and here you can play with the epcot graphs for example i want to quickly jump to this side and then go back to normal then this is the you know distance i have another video about the speed ramping this is the speed ramping how fast it should move from one keyframe to another one this is all about the keyframing there now if we'll like this one you can adjust the speed of your keyframes here easily after learning CapCut keyframes in this video i'm pretty sure that you learned a lot about striking videos and how to animate your videos in a professional way that's it for today and i'll see you next time bye bye